this lesson is going to be on evolution and natural selection. You may be familiar with evolution um, and Charles Darwin. Uh, if you recall, he went to the Galapagos Islands and studied birds and he created a lot of his theories on evolution and natural selection through his studies of birds. Um, so I'm going to just do a little quick lesson on the theory of evolution by what we call natural selection. As far as how species work, many times species will overproduce. The reasons for overproducing is that, that gives them a better chance of survival where they can reach maturity. And when they reach maturity, they have a better chance to um, again, produce more offspring. So a lot of species overproduce, which gives them a better chance to reach maturity and produce uh, more offspring. What's cool as far as the theory of evolution goes is when offspring are born, there are a lot of variations. You know, through the DNA process, there's a lot of genetic traits being passed on. Now, the catch is when you're dealing with species, species, especially when we're talking about animals in the wild, they have to depend a lot on the environment. If, if their uh, characteristics are not strong with respect to the environment, they may not make it to maturity. So with variation, that gives the, uh, the species a better chance to have, uh, have characteristics that will help them survive. So having a lot of different characteristics is really important in this process of natural selection. More variety, there's a potential of having the right characteristics that will help you survive in the environment. Now, that's here's the catch though, is um, with the environment, there's a selection process. If you don't have the, the, the right traits to survive in the environment, then you may not make it to maturity to reproduce. So those with the, uh, the correct traits to, to survive in the environment, the selection process allows you then to survive longer, which allows you to reproduce your traits and pass on your traits. So this is the natural selection process. So as the environment changes, we have these traits that are passed on and this allows the animals to adapt to their new environment. So at one time, you know, light colored deer may have been the better trait to survive, but now you kind of see the light colored deer are not surviving. So the dark colored deer must be having the right traits for that environment and they're surviving. So the animals are able to adapt and by adapting, they are able to reach maturity again and they're able to pass on traits that are gonna be more supportive to the environment. So natural selection, you know, animals are gonna overproduce, overproduce to allow for animals to reach that, that, that maturity level where they can reproduce. By having a lot of different varieties, a lot of different characteristics, this gives them a chance to be able to um, survive in the environment. But then the environment is still gonna dictate who lives and who dies. And those who reach maturity are the ones who are gonna be able to pass on their traits. And that's where you know, animals will adapt. Those with the right traits are gonna survive and pass on those traits to the, their, their offspring. And so that's kind of the theory of, of natural selection.